This is Twit. Philips um, Hue has announced uh, some new HomeKit devices, including an update to its iris lamp. And what I see is more importantly, <laughs> finally, uh, truly, actually, an LED light strip that has multiple color zones. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Um, I have been saying that that the that folks should get the if they're going to go for a light strip they should get the Lifex light strip because of its multiple color zones. Um, that the Philips Hue one is fine, but it only does one color across the whole strip uh, at once, and, and that's that kind of a bummer. It, especially given it, how pricey it is, it's it's expensive yeah. for not being able to do the multiple zones <laughs> of color. Um, now there are. Uh, the now there is the option to have a what they call the gradient light strip, and Philips is marketing it as a uh, and a great addition for your television. And in fact, I think mm -hmm. I think I'll be reviewing one soon. Um, I've got the Philips Hue Sync box uh, yeah. and love that setup. I've been using that now That's for a long time. Yeah. Uh, so this is meant to add to that. So I'm looking forward to it because I've got right now. Two uh, Philips Hue, I think they're called, I don't remember what they're called. They're sort of um, pill-shaped black lamps that have uh, a panel on the front play? that they shoot out the color. Yeah, 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 the Hue Play. Yeah. Thank you. Because I have those too on my TV. Uh, oh, yeah. And so I've got a play on the left and a play on the right. And then the current Philips Hue light strip that runs across the back of my um, entertainment stand. Thing. So <laughs> if I test out this Philips Hue light strip, gradient light strip, it's going to go on the back of my television itself. And in fact, they've ac actually asked me what size my television is. So I'm thinking they have multiple sizes. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'll be trying that hopefully soon and adding that to the experience and seeing how that improves upon it. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing how that works. And I think that this could just be good in general, and I can I see a lot of uh, gamers getting gamer gamers who are streamers. I mean, getting this Philips Hue Play mm. gradient light strip. I think that that's going to be where this really shines. Ha! Is there intended. a delay with the HDMI sync box? I know that it syncs. The point is that it syncs the lights to the audio and stuff, but I feel like that doesn't that still take a moment? Like just with gaming, the latency is like. If it had I, a delay, I've never done it with video. gaming, but there is no delay with uh, video because of but the it can way delay the, the video for you. It delays the video. It. Yeah, it delays yeah. the video so that the lights sync up. But when you're watching it, then there's no change. I mean, you're watching the video in full. You know, I'm literally watching it in uh, on a television that supports Dolby Vision HDR. And so mm -hmm. I'm still seeing it in all the brightest cool. blah, blah, blahs at the proper frame rates and all that stuff. It's just that it does it so that it can send out the commands to the lights in time for everything to sync up. And I have had, I've sincerely had no issues with it. It's uh, synced perfectly. But again, I've never done it with games. Uh, so I can't speak to those because I don't play those. So I don't know how it works with that. Yeah. Um, so but I don't I know if like you fire the, your pew pew laser if it's going to, you know, light at the right yeah, time. Yeah, I don't think it actually would work for real time games just because that has to, gamers are like, if there's more than two seconds, milliseconds yeah. of latency. It has a gaming thing, mode. But, oh, yeah. That's cool. Maybe yeah. that does. Yeah. Too, maybe it's just like less. But it is, I think, with the multicolor light strip part of it. I mean, that's, I think, what really started to sell me on colored lighting was the ability to control that and also have it change over time with the LifeX thing. I think that's really cool. I really noticed that that helps me work in this office for six months at a time without ever leaving or going outside kind of thing. Like not that that's actually what I'm literally doing, but I, it's made a big difference actually having the colored lighting that can help me change the environment. Cause that's the problem is you just never change your environment. And so yeah, having that stuff is really good. Place to this place. But I think it'll be wild with the TV. I mean, the example that we were just showing on screen a second ago was like a sports team where half of them are wearing red and half of them are wearing white. And then just like the right side of the wall is red and the left side is white. Like I still haven't found out if these are just extremely overwhelming sensory experiences or not, because <laughs> that might be a little too much for us, but I want to try it one day as well. Honestly. Yeah. I mean, I thought at first that 
it was going to be like I said, gimmicky and and distracting, but it ends up it ended up adding to the experience. I really, yeah, uh, I really quite like it. 